little status update on the garden. Today is November 21st, 2014. So there's the tomatoes. Looks like uh, this cold front that's come through kind of wreaked a little havoc on, havoc on things. Seeing a little yellowing on the leaves. Might be cutting back on the watering a bit. There's the peas, they're hanging in there. Got a whole lot of lettuce. Lettuce is doing really well. And this was lettuce that was um, direct from the manufacturer. In the other bed, and I'll show you that in here in a minute. Those are the ones that I harvested from our laden crop. There's some celery, it's doing really well. Dianthesis. A whole lot of lettuce. Some onions in here. And there's something else growing. I don't remember what I planted there. Might just be a weed, I don't know. A whole bunch of carrots. These are about ready. Sweet peas. Strawberries are kind of overrun by the flowers. I think they might be a lost cause. And another thing, I learned that when I grow peppers, I need to make sure that I put up my bird netting. Because they uh, definitely liked all of my peppers. There's some new ones that are green that are coming through, but maybe I just need to pick them sooner. Eat them. There's an update on our trees. There's the peach tree. A little twig just turned into the, the biggest out of all the trees. How funny. And that was the, uh, I think it's a Mexican fan palm. But it just randomly started growing. A few of the neighbors have it, so maybe that's what it is. Lemon tree's doing really good. It's starting to shoot. Maybe a few, a couple feet higher, and I'm gonna cut it off and just fill that all in as a big ball of lemons. Here's the grapefruit. I'm gonna keep that a little smaller. Daisy mandarin. And the Valencia orange. I think it's a lot of shade in the winter, so I think he's probably gonna stay a little smaller. The mandarin's gonna get pretty good size though. Here's my radish bed. Each one of these little stakes, there's a broccoli. So I got six broccoli coming in. Two different varieties, heirloom. See them coming in. And the radishes. Right here you got all the kale. So two rows of kale there. Along the back you got some romaine lettuce. Here's a whole bunch of romaine lettuce. A bunch of... I'm gonna probably just take some of them while they're babies and eat them. It's pretty tasty that way. There's kale. So we got a whole lot of kale coming in. Be able to be plucking from that and juicing that like nobody's business. There's two rows of carrots in there as well. Here is the cilantro, as well as the spinach. So I got two rows of cilantro and a row of spinach running up the middle. Here it's a, a good combination to have in the garden. So. We're gonna plant the second half here soon. So I'm gonna have like a half and half rotation. 